Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider in direct computations of DFT of a sequence, how many complex multiplications, complex additions, real multiplications, real additions and trigonometric function evaluation are required. In the previous lecture, we considered complex multiplications and complex additions and uh, we concluded that there are uh, and we concluded that there are n square complex multiplications. So, if I want to write the complex multiplication, there are n square. And with respect to complex additions, we concluded that there are n square minus n complex additions. So, now the task is to consider real multiplications and real additions in this video. So, what is the number? Number of complex, number of real multiplication, real addition. So, that we'll consider in this video. Uh, before I proceed, let me consider the expression for x of k. x of k is nothing but the DFT of a sequence which is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n that is the input sequence into wn to the power k into n. So, this is nothing but the expression for a DFT of any sequence and wherein k varies from 0, 1 till n minus 1. So, in this expression, we know that uh, the input x of n and the twiddle factor wn both can be complex valued. Are you getting it? I said both can be complex valued. Uh, any complex value number, it's, it, it, it will have its real and imaginary part. So, let the real and imaginary part of x of n and wn to the power kn can be written as. So, that I will consider it now. So, x of n is the input signal which is a complex number and it, 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 it can be expressed in terms of its real part xr of n wherein xr of n stands for the real part plus j into xi of n. xi of n is nothing but the imaginary part. Similarly, and wn to the power kn. So, I would consider now the twiddle factor. This can also be expressed in terms of the real part which is wrn to the power k into n plus j into win to the power k into n. Are you getting it? So, this is uh, real part and this is imaginary part. So, now uh, we have expressed the input and the twiddle factor both in terms of their real part and imaginary part. So, what is the next step? Next step is I will substitute these things in the expression of x of k. Therefore, I will get the expression for x of k as x of k is equal to <coughs> summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 in place of x of n. I would substitute now for xr of n plus j x i of n. This is the uh, expression for x of n. This gets multiplied with w n to the power k n which is equal to w r n to the power k n plus j times w i n to the power k n. So, this is nothing but the uh, twiddle factor. Is that okay? So, what is the next step? Next step is I need to simplify it further. How do I have to simplify it further? Let's multiply the terms together and uh, let's see what I'm going to get. So, that is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. That remains as it is. So, now I'll multiply xr of n with wr, wrn to the power kn with and j plus uh, j uh, win to the power kn. So, I'm going to get xr of n w r n to the power k n that is the one term plus I am going to get the next term x r of n getting multiplied with this j term. So, j I will write it at the beginning j into x r of n w i n to the power k n getting it. Next I will have the third term. I will consider j x i of n gets multiplied with w r n to the power k n. So, I will write j. First, let me write the real part that is w r n to the power k n gets multiplied with x i of n. Is that okay? Then, I will write the last term. Uh, j into j is nothing but j square and we know that j square is nothing but minus 1. 
I get minus of x i of n gets multiplied with w i n to the power k into n. So these are going to be the four parameters I'm going to get, four terms. The multiplication results in these four terms. What is the next step? Next step is nothing but I just have to rearrange the terms. So how do I rearrange the terms? I'll just uh, combine the real parts together and imaginary parts together so that I'm going to get summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. So first let me combine the real part. So which are all the real parts? XR of n, WRN to the power KN. That is the first uh, uh, real part. And uh, similarly, I have uh, one more term here. XI of n, WIN to the power KN. So these are nothing but the real numbers. Uh, I'll combine these two things. And later I will combine the imaginary terms. So the terms which have the J term here and here. So I'll combine those two terms later. So first let me write the real numbers. So I'm going to get XR of n WN WRN to the power KN minus XI of n WIN to the power KN. So that is the first part plus J into bracket. Are you getting it? So I'll take j out from these two terms and I'm going to get xr of n win to the power k into n. That is the first term. Plus I'm left with uh, the second term. I'll write it as xi of n wrn to the power k into n. Is that okay? So that is nothing but the second part, second term. So now, the majority of the task is done. I have expressed x of k something like this, uh, combining real part and imaginary part together. So now, this is nothing but one complex multiplication. Are you getting it? So this is nothing but one complex multiplication uh, of x of n and wn to the power kn. I just considered one complex multiplication. So this is converted into how many real additions, real multiplication that I need to consider now. So just look here, how many real multiplication? This is nothing but one real multiplication. This is nothing but second real multiplication. This is nothing but third real multiplication and this is nothing but four real multiplication. So ultimately we are going to have four real multiplications. Are you understanding this part? So I said one complex multiplication of x of n wn to the power kn got converted into four real multiplications. And how many real additions are there? So if I consider, uh, yes. So now I'll consider this subtraction. Subtraction, I can consider it as addition itself. So this is the first uh, uh, real addition. And here I have one more real addition. So in the sense, I got two real additions. Two real additions. So that is a very important point. One complex multiplication got converted into four real multiplication and two real additions. And what about this plus sign? There is one more plus sign here. But it, uh, though it looks like addition, it is not actual addition. Even though I consider, I'll just consider that this example, z equal to a plus jb. So this is the indication of complex number. Am I going to add these things? No, it is just a notation. The real part, imaginary part, uh, they are separated by a positive sign and j is indicated. I'm not going to add these two numbers. It's just notation. I'm going to denote a complex number in this way. So j, this plus indicates uh, that concept. So it is not the actual addition. There are only two additions involved. And in that one is subtraction. I take subtraction as addition itself. So ultimately I'm going to get two real additions and four real multiplications. Is that okay? So that is a very important uh, point. So this is for uh, only one complex multiplication of uh, x of n wn to the power kn and for n values of k and we know that uh, this is for uh, one values of k there are n complex multiplications so i'll repeat for one value of k for one value of k there are 
n complex multiplication so this is a very important statement which i am making it now i said multiplications i said uh, for one value of k whatever i consider it is only one complex multiplication multiplication of what x of n wn to the power kn it is only one value of this got converted into four real multiplications and two real additions but what is the task now k can take the value from 0 to n minus 1 hence there are uh, for one value of k for it is, uh, this plus another term plus another term like this for one value of k i am going to have n complex multiplication so where does this concept come from when complex multiplication this has we have proved this in the previous lecture in the previous video uh, that there are uh, n complex multiplications so ultimately uh, one for one value of k i can write so let me write the next statement for one value of k for one value of k we are going to have 4n real multiplications 4n real multiplications so this is a very important concept that i am making and there are 2n real additions are you okay with this so whatever i considered the 4 and 2 this is only for uh, uh, one complex multiplication likewise for one entire value of k there are n complex multiplications so i'll multiply them for one value of k i'm going to get four n real multiplications and two n real additions so that is uh, very important so likewise k can take the value from 0 to n minus 1 therefore for n point dft i'm going to have uh, for n point so let me write the that thing again for n point dft for n point dft how many uh, real multiplications and uh, real additions i am going to have k can take the value 0 to n minus 1 so there are n points now so i will consider 4n into n are you getting this where does the, this n come from k varying from 0 to n minus 1 so hence i am going to have uh, that n term also i am going to have 4n square real multiplications so this is very important i said 4n square real multiplications so i said this is a very important point similarly uh, for n point dft this is whatever i have 2n it is only for one value of k likewise k can take the value from 0 to n minus 1 so hence there are uh, n different values of k so i'm going to have 2n into n which turns out to be 2n square real additions real additions therefore uh, for n point dft i'm going to have 4n square real multiplication and 2n square real additions is that okay so that is a very important uh, point which we made one complex multiplication the multiplication got converted into these many real multiplications and these many real additions so now we haven't considered complex addition whatever we consider we considered complex multiplication so this we considered the complex multiplication i call it as complex multiplication and now if i have to consider complex addition as well so let us consider complex addition so that is the important point so let me write next uh, consider the complex additions consider the complex additions so how many complex additions we are going to have so for this what we do is uh, let me consider two complex numbers consider two complex numbers so what are those two complex numbers let the complex numbers be for the example a plus jb and c plus jd so these are the two complex numbers so now i will add them a plus jb i will write plus 
next I have C plus J D so whatever I have written this this is nothing but complex addition so this I call it as one complex addition so complex addition is nothing but I need to consider two complex numbers I will add them so that I'm going to get one complex addition so this I can equate it as I'll just uh, consider I'll just rearrange the terms a plus uh, jb c plus jd I'll consider the real terms first I will write a plus c plus I'll take j out I'm going to get b plus d that is also important is that okay so one complex addition got converted into so this I would call it as one real addition and this I would call it as another real addition so ultimately how many real additions I got I got two real additions are you understanding this point I considered two complex numbers I added them I got one complex addition and I proved that one complex addition got converted into two real additions is that okay so I don't consider this plus in uh, as uh, three real additions because we know that the complex numbers can be written in this form this is not the actual addition that is just the notation and I, I came to know that there are two real additions is that okay so my conclusion is one complex addition got converted into two real additions two real additions so likewise we know that there are n square minus n complex additions are involved is that okay n square minus n complex additions. so where does this number come from n square minus n this we have proved that uh, in the previous lecture that there are n square minus n complex additions so they get converted into these many two times n square minus n real additions so that is equal to 2 n square minus 2 n real additions is that okay so ultimately I prove that n square minus n complex additions get converted into 2 n square minus 2 n real additions is that okay so how many uh, total number of real additions in the multiplication there are 2 n square real additions and in the process of uh, complex addition there are 2 n square minus 2 n real additions so ultimately if I want to summarize how many how many real multiplications real additions so let me summarize the stuff now I say uh, total number of total number of real multiplications real multiplications so I can write the answer for this how many numbers of real multiplications I'm going to have so just go up and check I just have proved I proved that I'm going to get 4 n square real multiplications so let me write it here 4 n square real multiplications is that okay so now I can write uh, I can also write a total number of uh, uh, real additions so I will write total number of real additions so how many total number of real additions we are going to have in the multiplication there are 2 n square this is important plus these two numbers is that okay so ultimately I'm going to get 2 n square plus 2 n square minus 2n how much is that I am going to get 4n square minus 2n real additions is that okay so these two are very important ultimately I am going to have uh, sorry for that ultimately I am going to have uh, 4n square minus 2n uh, real additions and I am going to have 4n square real multiplications 
So in this example, I have explained everything step by step. Hope you people, you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section, and I would definitely address those uh, comments. And uh, meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Before I conclude, in the next video, we'll consider how many trigonometric functions are uh, uh, evaluation are uh, required. That part we'll consider in the next video. Thank you, everyone, for watching.